Cedric King entered the U.S. Army in 1995, climbing from an infantry private to master sergeant in the elite Army Rangers. A recipient of the Bronze Star and Purple Heart, among other awards, and graduating from several distinguished Army schools, Cedric had an extremely successful military career. During the summer of 2012, Cedric was severely injured by an IED, causing him to have his legs amputated and to lose part of his right arm and hand on top of major internal injuries. Cedric was lucky to come away with his life. But here, in the midst of tragedy, is where Cedric's life began. Perhaps not the life he had expected, but the life he was given. That was exactly where I was, in a hospital bed, and I see Scott Rigsby, like, finishing, and I'm like, man, I'm supposed to be doing that. I saw Scott do it, and, and I think the thing that helped out so much was that Scott came and visited me in Walter Reed. Like, when I was, I, was, I hadn't even put prosthetics on, and Scott had come to visit, and I was like, man, tell me about it. And when he was telling me about it, it wasn't like, when I was listening to him, it wasn't like, I was hearing him tell me about his experience. I felt like when he was talking, he was telling me about what I was about to do. I did finish my first Ironman. I thought I could just go out there and just do it, you know? And I was sorely disappointed, you know? No, no, you gotta, you gotta respect this. This is tough, man, this is tough. And I've done tough stuff in the Army. I've been through Ranger School. I've been through all kinds, of, uh, Pathfinder, I've been Jumpmaster, I've been through Infantry Basic. I've just been, been an infantryman for the last 17 years at this point. Three tours of combat. I've been through a lot of tough stuff before, man. I get to mile 35 and I thought I had done 100 miles. I felt like I'd been to Jupiter and back or something. And it just taught me, look, you can't, you can't rest on those old victories, you gotta, you gotta compete every day. You gotta show up and you gotta compete every day. You're, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to make the team the first time you try out. That's because you're going to be one of the greats. Every single great story you've ever heard has never started like, and Michael Jordan made the team the first time and he scored 100 points. No, the dude got cut. <laughs> it, it wasn't. It wasn't like Denzel Washington got the job the first time he did the 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 take. You know, he read the lines and and he got the part. No, he got cut, man. He, every single story of anybody's ever done anything great, it started off really, really ugly. That's that. That's that's the indication that you are supposed to be doing this. That's the indication that you are here and you are supposed to be doing this race again and again and again. It's because greatness has picked you out of the lottery of all the people. When you were a baby, the first time you walked, you didn't just stand up and just take off running. You fell down, <laughs> you got back up, you fell down again, and you fell down again, and you fell down again until you got it. If, if I if I go back, if I go back five, five and a half years, I'm not looking at this and saying, wow, that's a gift. I'm like, I, I hope that never happens to me. You know, I hope that never happens to me. And the thing about it is, I'm looking back at it now and I'm like saying the total opposite. I'm glad this happened to me. Now, the only thing that, the, the, the only thing that's different is Two legs, two legs are gone. But me losing these two legs taught me so much about myself, taught me so much about what was possible, you know? We pray for everybody, prays for the tragedy not to happen to us, for the diagnosis not to happen to us, for the, for the not, not my parent, not my child, not my wife, not my husband. We all pray for that, but on the back end, I'm not praying for tragedy, but I do know the tragedy brings with it a tremendous gift. And if you can look at life like this, you could really sail through the cloudy days and the rainy days and the snowy days and the dreary days. You could sail through them because they all have purpose. They all are coming to give you a gift. It's, it's like, 
You don't believe that one plus one is two. You don't believe it. You know it. It's not like something that I have to convince you, you know? It's not like a belief that you that you that you can't see but you know it's there. Like I know. I know anything is possible. With the same determination and drive that propelled him up the ranks in the military, Cedric started his road to recovery and now has his eyes set on finishing his first full Iron Man. Cedric says he wouldn't change a thing and feels blessed to still have the opportunity to race with no regrets and no excuses. Cedric is a true hero and a living testament that anything is possible.